before I get into this, I just want to say, if you guys have any topics you want me to talk about, just link, just put them in the comment section. I'd be keen to talk, uh, talk about them. I like them, obviously, heart them. If I do talk about them, I, you know, I just, I don't mind talking about different kinds of things. Today, though, I decided I kind of want to talk more about the country that I'm from. You know, the place where I live. New Zealand, or as I call it, Aotearoa. So, these are kind of just 10 questions that I seem to see quite a bit. I basically just either searched on internet or just forums and like AI, you know, giving me questions. Or, you know, just look at Google. I just kind of filtered through some of the uh, questions that I thought were actually useful, I guess. I'm only going to do 10, but if there's more that you want to know, either, you know, you can search it up or just ask me and I'll answer it in the comment section. So, the first question is, what's the best time to visit New Zealand? Uh, this is very dependent on your preferences. New Zealand has a temperature climate with mild temperatures year round. The warmest months are December, January and February, making it ideal for outdoors activity like hiking and swimming. However, there are also peak tourist months. For comfortable weather with fewer crowds, consider visiting during shoulder seasons, March, May, or September to November. So sometime in, you know, I mean, it's mostly warm most of the, most of the fucking, uh, most of the year anyway. You'll be, you'll be safe. Speaking of safety, is new, new, bro, I just can't. Is New Zealand safe? New Zealand is consistently ranked as one of the safest countries in the world, so you don't have to worry about that. Crime rates are low, and you can generally feel comfortable exploring cities and natural areas alike. However, as with any travel de destination, it's always wise to be aware of your surroundings and practice common and practice common safety precautions. Even though we are known for being you know, so, uh, friendly. Sometimes you gotta watch out for. There's always gonna be a bad apple in the bunch. Just make sure you know someone, or you know you trust someone, and just make sure they guide you. You don't want to get into a scuffle. There is still gangs around. It, a crime rate is low, but it doesn't mean you're gonna be entirely safe. There's hardly any countries that you know you don't have to ever fear of being touched. Do I need a visa to enter New Zealand? Visa requirements depend on your nationality. Citizens of many countries, including the US and most European nations, can visit New Zealand visa-free for stays under three months. It's always best to check the latest information with New Zealand immigration before you trip. I'll just have it in the, you know, description below because... Fuck, I, I don't know what you got. You guys can be from Sweden, fucking Norway, man. I have it linked. What currency does uh, New Zealand use? The official currency of Aotearoa is the New Zealand dollar. It is weak as shit. As weak as hell. I'll tell you right there. Our currency is weak as a bitch. So, uh, yeah. You can exchange your currency for NZD before you travel or use ATMs once you arrive. So you don't have to worry about... Um, you know, having, having, having the bag before coming here, you'll be fine. What's the weather like in New Zealand? So, New Zealand's weather is known for being mild and changeable. And when I say changeable, I mean, bro, it will flip instantly. It will go from snowing, hailing, back to sunny in certain areas. Gotta watch out for that. The season's opposite of the Northern Hemisphere. So, summer is from December to February and winter from, and winter's from June to August. So, you know, it's the opposite of, you know, what the U.S. experiences. During Christmas, it's actually pretty damn hot. And we don't see snow. So, uh, if you're coming here for Christmas, don't expect snow. You're not going to be under the mistletoe kissing your, kissing your cross. Shit ain't going to happen. Temperatures depend on the region, with the north being generally warmer than the south. Rank can curve throughout the year, so packing layers is recommended. I'll tell you now. <laughs> where I am it doesn't rain heaps 
but in some places it rains a lot especially with the cyclones we the cyclone that came not too long ago uh people were very scared of rain uh they're scared whenever it rains because uh yeah, we might go through another cyclone but you'll be all right you'll be all right i swear uh can you drink tap water new zealand yes tap water is generally safe to drink throughout new zealand the quality is high and many locals and visitors choose to refuse reuse reusable bottles instead of buying bottled water uh the only places i'd watch out in is probably certain places in auckland i used to live in auckland and uh i mean i don't mind the water but maybe for some people yeah obviously there's gonna be spots where people are gonna have some questionable water but most you know tap water is drinkable like honestly you'll be surprised that like the quality of the water the tap water i don't know how people can't drink tap water fucking rich bastards uh what are some must-see places in new zealand a couple one of them is uh milled for sound a dramatic a dramatic field in florida national park known for its towering waterfalls and rainforests they've got a lot of rainforests a lot of mountain a lot of farmland that you can do if you go for a drive just anywhere you'll probably see something that's uh you know beautiful there's a lot of places rotorua <laughs> a geothermal wonderland with geysers mud pools and multicultural experiences if you do go to rotorua keep in mind those geysers because they're act because um new zealand is basically just an active volcano but rotorua is known for um, smelling really bad because of these geysers they, they they can literally just act they can be active at like any time and it just emits a very very rotten smell sometimes so um if you're very sensitive to smells probably don't go to Rotorua. queenstown this is what people consider the adventure uh, adventure capital of new zealand offering bungee jumping jet boating and skiing and also skydiving if you want to do any of those and in new zealand you don't even actually need to be a certain age to skydive you can uh i mean you're not gonna be able to jump alone you're not you're not ever gonna be able to jump alone which is good you'll you know you'll have someone with you the whole time when you're skydiving but you don't need to be a certain age uh new zealand's one of the only places that uh you can literally just jump out of a plane when you're eight freedom uh the various national parks from the volcanic lands of tangaroa oh, tangarido national park to the glaciers or whistler national park new zealand has incredible natural beauty to explore i'm telling you you go to any one of these towns and you'll find a, like a pretty beautiful park there's always some sort of like a natural like landscape or landmark to see in new zealand our country is very known for its natural beauty it's beaches while the beaches are super beautiful here watch out with a couple of them some of them um yeah some of them will suck you in and uh if you get sucked in uh, uh gg brother you ain't come back out what kind of clothes should you pack if you're coming to new zealand so due to the changeable weather Packing layers is a good idea. Pack comfortable walking shoes or hiking shoes, a raincoat, and warm layers for evenings, especially during winter months. Don't forget swimwear if you plan on visiting thermal pools or beaches. And also, if you want to be, you know, part of the cool club, bring sandals or jandals. Anything that allows your feet to be free because you're going to be seeing everyone with barely any shoes on sandals jandals everything like that so like bro just just be a cool cousin just you know rock up in your jandal sandals or no shoes at all it's probably not a good idea to rock up with no shoes because we're used to it so yeah how easy is it to get around new zealand public transportation options like buses and trains exist particularly in major cities however renting a car offers more flexibility for exploring the country's diverse landscapes if you choose to drive be aware that new zealand just drive on the left side of the road and uh i hope if you come to the country our country is uh 
very road rage orientated uh so not only do you have to you know because a lot of countries that, a lot of um a lot of people that come to the country are from countries that drive on the right side of the road so not only do you have to adjust to that you have to adjust to the very um shit roads so new, Ze new zealand's roads aren't high quality there's always potholes there's always uh very jagged edges like very sharp corner roads especially when you're going around mountains and uh new zealanders all have always and always drive on them so they just go fast around them so when you're going slow around like trying to avoid potholes and sharp corners they're gonna get mad at you they're gonna beep at you they're gonna try to like just just they're just try, gonna try to get past you so hopefully you're confident in your driving or you've got someone else because honestly where i live in new zealand to get from the airport you either need to take a bus but it only comes at certain times or you need to get just picked up because there's like nowhere around you have to either rent a car get picked up or take the bus that isn't always there you need to know the times you need a bus you need you know you need either a bus card or some change just make sure you plan all this before you come to the country please because uh yeah are there any dangerous animals in new zealand no is, we actually don't there are no large predators, uh, predators in new zealand however there are some native wildlife encounters to be aware of uh care parrots known for their intelligence and curiosity can sometimes there is damaged car interiors i honestly have never come across any of these so i you know i'm 20, 20 i'm 20 years old like i haven't come across one but they're not in all parts of new zealand sand flies tiny insects found in some areas can cause irritating bites be sure to use insect repellent in visiting areas known for sand flies yes and bugs in general bro our weather is just perfect for bugs and insects make sure you bring stuff like bug propellant anything bug related make sure you have sunscreen and like something just just make sure you just if you have any like reaction to bugs or insects you need to have all your shit sorted or also another thing you need to have sunscreen because unlike many countries i can't I, like uh new zealand doesn't have have particularly hot weather especially compared to australia but um what do you call it uh our ozone layer <laughs> so most countries have like an intact ozone layer new zealand and australia don't have that so when you come to new zealand and australia and it's like cold and it's like not as hot as other countries but you still you still get burnt bring sunscreen please you will get burnt it's hot as shit we have no ozone layer basically it's a very thin if it is very thin if any ozone layer so if you come here you're gonna get burnt you need sunscreen especially if you're like paler if you know even if you're a bit dark you might need some sunscreen every now and then i don't actually use too much which is bad for me but I, i've only been sunburnt once when i was literally eight like eight years old so yeah and uh that's the 10 questions that i had on my mind for the moment there are a lot more questions that you guys might want just make sure to put them down in the comments i really want to hear what you guys think uh, and what you guys want to know about new zealand if you come and visit it's a very beautiful country please come visit us we're broke as shit you know we're a very very small country we only ship out dairy and that yeah that's about it really that's a beautiful spot come over to new zealand uh i hope you guys have a great rest of your day or night wherever you are and uh i love you thank you for watching the video peace